check the feed while we shot. On the throat. Matter of fact, I, I called for uh, 1 Corinthians 3, you know, get Sirach, right, and bring that precept out. Yeah, bring that precept out, Baba Kusha. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. This is 1 Corinthians. No, no, no. Oh, Sirach. This is Sirach 19 and 22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, 
Neither any time the Council of Sinners Pudics. Right. So we're dealing with Esau Edom being an authority. And the knowledge that he's ruling the earth with is the knowledge of wickedness. One, once he came into power, right, you had this uh, age known as the Renaissance. What did he do? Get Joel 9 and 24. Because like the apostle said, he has all the historical evidence. He, he has the history. He knows the prophecies, right, concerning uh, things written in the uh, Bible that the prophet said, especially Daniel. Daniel, whose name is what? Danya Allah, which means what? Well, no. Danya Allah, um, judge of the, um, and then my, judge. Uh, my yeah. power is the judge. My power, my power is, is judge. judge. Right. A judge of the power, right? right. So when you deal with uh, 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 Daniel, Daniel was of the Lord's elect, right? Esau Edom is the wicked, but the Lord has shown the wicked mercy. Okay, he has shown the wicked uh, favor, which we're gonna get there too. We go into that word favor; it means mercy. Yep. All right, we're gonna get into it. Go ahead. Uh, Daniel, the Most High is my judge. Yep, the Most High is Daniel my judge. Yep. Yeah, the Most High is my judge. So go ahead. Come, this is uh, this is Job chapter nine and verse twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked; he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See? The wicked covered the faces of the judges thereof. So he knows, beginning with the elites, and you just seen it uh, recently come to the forefront by Vladimir Putin, that the Israelites, the people of the Bible, are what? Black. Yeah. Okay? They're so-called dark-skinned people. So this is just one aspect of the knowledge, the facts that he has in the world. His colleges and his curriculums that he sets up, you know, uh, he even have Bible colleges. He takes the information and he doesn't uh, give you the full truth. He basically covers up true judgment. That's what uh, Job 9.24 is going into. So when you deal with that, that's what? That's wickedness. Okay? Go ahead. The quick one. This first Maccabees 3 and 4 to 8. And lay it open the book of the law. When the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Right. Okay, so the thing about it is, let's get that uh, Isaiah 26. Right? This Isaiah 26 and 10. The thing about it is, uh, you can pretend to be the people all you want. You can steal the identity of the people all you want. Yeah. You can have all the, the, the facts. You can sit, like the scriptures say in uh, 2 Thessalonians, we'll grab that too. Uh, you can sit in the temple of the Most High showing yourself that you are the Most High, but you do not possess the judgment that comes with the Most High's people, right? And that's what the Most High honors. That's the wisdom that the Most High honors at the end of the day. Go ahead. Isaiah 26 and 10. Because this is Isaiah 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness see so you can have all the favor in the world but if you do not learn righteousness you will not have favor ultimately in the end from the most high okay because the reason why the most high shows us favor is for us to develop what righteous judgment okay to learn to live according to his righteousness you got the fatness of the earth e you got all the evidence, you're given the power to go into the heavens, to go into the, to the waters. And what do you do? You constantly bring forth wickedness in the earth. Right. Get that word favor, Baba Kusha. You got a precept? I just had the, um, the definition of wisdom. And the etymology? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, this is the etymology of the word wisdom. And it's a compound word from wise and dumb. Yep. So wise, going to prudent, sane, discreet having the power of discerning and judging rightly having the power of discerning and judging rightly having the power of discerning and judging rightly that's what it means to be wise so judging rightly is the same as what righteous judgment righteous judgment right so it's a compound word so that we're wise not dumb goes back to doom yep let's go to statues Judgment. Statues. Judgments. Yeah. 
And when you go to uh, grab it real quick, I know you've been holding this second Corinthians third chapter, right? But go to Psalms 147, uh, 19 and 20, right? So you deal with uh, statues and judgments. Who did the Lord say he only gave his statues and judgments to? Israel, right? Israel. This is Psalms 147 and 19. It says, he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Yep. He have not dealt so with any nation. So that especially includes Esau and Edom. You know, for out of all the nations in the Bible that are written about, Esau and Edom is the only nation that the Lord said that he hated. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So uh, he definitely didn't, didn't show Esau and Edom Right? He didn't give him that power. He showed it to him. Don't get me wrong. He showed him the law, statutes, and commandments. Esau Edom got the Bible, you know, all, all throughout his different court systems, you know, all throughout his country, you know, even though he demonizes it, he uses it at his uh, disposal, right? He uses it when it's beneficial for him right. and, when it's, and, when it, and when it cuts him and when it destroys his ideologies, he, he demonizes it. Right, right? right, that goes in the song, Psongs 50. Right, right? yep, yep. You, now, speak you, on you, you have, how, how can you have a man that swear in on the Bible and then turn around and give uh, 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 rights to, to, you know, the right. LGBT, the, you know, the alphabet community, which, yep. go, which contradicts everything he says. Yeah. So that, that like, like he says, that lets you know he, he, he doesn't have any wisdom, true right. wisdom. He don't got true wisdom, yep. Because when you deal with uh, Esau Edom, in his mind, he put himself in this position of power, right. right? It was the Lord that allowed him to have this power for a time. Because the scriptures say what? Righteousness endure forever. But he said the, 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 the wicked shall perish like his own dung. So this foundation that uh, this man's kingdom has been built upon is wickedness. And that's why it's continually perishing, you know? And, it, and, 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 and as it perishes, guess what? More and more facts and evidence that he's been uh, hiding for so long is gonna come to the forefront, right? Exposing him for the wicked and not the righteous. You, you guys, you got something? Yeah, you got the word favor. Okay. Come, this is the word favor in the blue letter Bible and it goes into Strong's H2603, Hanan. Hanan. Yeah, Hanan. In the outline of biblical usage, it says to be gracious, show favor, pity. To show favor, be gracious. Now what Galatians say? Uh, not Galatians, uh, James. It's a James lot. 2 and 13. James 2 and 13. Let's grab that. Keep going on it. Yeah, and it says, um, and it says to make gracious, make favorable. It says to direct favor to, have mercy on. Yeah. So though he's been showed this favor, showed this mercy, and showed this pity. Right, because he was crying like a little bitch because he couldn't get, uh, he didn't get the birthright. Right. But he despised the birthright, remember? Yeah. He, he so, said, what good shall this birthright do me? Now show you how the most high work. He still showed Esau Edom favor. He still showed Esau Edom pity because he still gave him the fatness of the earth, which is what uh, a big portion of the birthright is. The, one of the biggest portions of the birthright is you're gonna have dominion over the earth. But though he gave him dominion over the earth, because see, that's what Esau wants. He wants the dominion, but he doesn't want the responsibility that comes with the dominion. The law, statutes, and commandments, which is ultimately the righteous judgment of the Most High. So the Lord still showed him favor. And with that favor, what did he do? Continually rape, rob, and murder, right? He didn't show any more favor back. So get that James out. This is James 2 and 13. For he should have judgment without mercy, that has shown no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. There we go. See, mercy rejoices against judgment. So when you deal with Esau Edom, he has shown no mercy. Though he's been given mercy and been given pity, and because the elder uh was supposed to serve the younger. Yeah. Now we go to Ezekiel. Get Ezekiel, uh, is it Ezekiel where it says uh uh for him whose judgment was not to drink of that cup. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, 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 Jeremiah right? Con. And also, 
We're going to read Isaiah 26 again, mm -hmm. and we're going to get the word majesty, majesty in the etymology, right? Look it in the blue letter, too, for me, bro. Go ahead, y'all. You got it. Jeremiah 49. Yep, yep, yep. This is Jeremiah 49 and 12. And this is the mercy of the Lord extended to Esau. The favor and the pity extended to Esau. Go ahead. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yehobah Shemal Shai, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. Who was that talking about? That's talking about Israel drinking of the cup of slavery, serving Esau Edom. But the judgment was what? For the elder to serve the younger. Right? Go ahead. It says, and, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Thou shalt surely drink of it. And you're going to drink a double cup of it because you show no mercy. It said, uh, in the time when our uh, affliction had an end, right. which I'm roughly quoting, y'all know what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you furthered the affliction, yeah. you know? You broke the brotherly covenant, right? That's why we read James, all right? So the Lord's not gonna show any mercy to you in the end. Because in the video, uh, Apostle Ramla, he quoted the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary concerning the judgment of Edom. It says, Edom, uh, favors prominent, prominently within the prophetic scriptures as the only nation who the Lord is not going to show any mercy. Roughly, roughly paraphrasing, he's not promised any mercy from the Lord. You know, but the balance of it is, the Lord actually did show Esau Edom some mercy because He's allowed him to, you know, because you think about it, when Isaac, who was Yahweh Shah the Spirit, uh, gave Jacob the blessing, Esau Edom came crying for pity can't cry for mercy. Yeah. Do you have blessed me? Do you have now what he blessed him with? The sword. Yeah, he still blessed. He gave him a, a temple with a blessing. But he told him that by the sword he shall rule, right? Yeah. But he didn't tell him everything. Nah. He didn't tell him Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Yep. He didn't tell him that, okay, I'm gonna give you this sword and you're gonna conquer the fairness of the earth by the sword, but this same sword is gonna destroy you. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, uh, uh, shall die by the sword. Right? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. He didn't lead it into captivity, shall go into captivity. So that's the righteous judgment that Esau Edom is is, you know, he's not privy of. Right. You that's know? Why the scriptures say he didn't he didn't consider the latter end. Of he didn't consider the latter <laughs> end. He got all that you got all this the uh, uh, fatness of the earth, everything uh, uh the Lord gave you by the sword, you know, but ultimately that's gonna be the same way you go out. Right? Yeah. And and then even with the knowledge pertaining to the things in the earth you know in the heavens like he still only got a a, a dust of the balance he just got more than what we got of that right but he in, in the time when the lord gives the kingdom to us like we're gonna know the depths of the seas we're gonna know because the scriptures say uh wisdom cannot dwell with a malicious soul mm -hmm. so and the Lord said he has set his bounds that he cannot pass. Right. So it's a cap on how much uh, of this knowledge that the Lord has allowed Esau Edom and is going to allow Esau Edom to gain in the earth right. before he just cuts him off and say, that's enough. You're not worthy of this uh, authority, right. right? You're not worthy of this dominion. So now that's why Sirach 10 says what? In due time, he's going to set one up that is profitable right. for the earth, man. Right, because if Esau Edom was able, if he had full dominion, the earth probably would already be destroyed. He'd be destroyed. Right? He'd have fucked everything up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's thinking trying to. Go ahead, Salah. I had a piece up. Salah, 39 and 26. The principal things for the whole use of, of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour, of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned to evil. See, so he turned the good things, the the, the, the GMOs, you know. Yeah. This meaning you're making uh uh artificial shit. Uh, what you call them? Trees. Concrete the, trees. Concrete yeah. trees. Yeah. Seedless grapes. Yeah. You know. He's completely uh, defiling the earth. Here it is. The Lord has given you the favor 
to have dominion over the whole earth and then you just destroying it. Yep. You know? Plastic in the ocean, so the fishes, they getting caught up in on, you know, trail pack cans of plastic. Yep. Oil in the water, oil spill. That's not wisdom. You know because I mean? a wise man wouldn't put oil, wouldn't destroy the very uh substance that he needs to live with. Why are you destroying the animals? Why are you destroying the fishes in the sea? Why are you spraying shit in the air? Why are you coming up with all these fucking devices that's altering uh frequencies and fucking up the migration uh patterns of the of the, of the birds? Yeah, the radiation and shit. Man. You know? 5G towers everywhere, bro. That's shit. knowledge, but it's knowledge. It's not wicked. It's knowledge of wickedness. It's not wisdom. It's not wisdom. So uh let's go back to Isaiah 26 and 10 and we're gonna get the word majesty. Because this is Isaiah 26. In verse 10, it reads, Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. He will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Now let's let's get uh let's get into that word majesty. Let's get it in the blue letter. Hey, shalom, shalom, y'all but someone shot about the thumb. Shalom. Karab saw. This is uh this is Not majesty. This is majesty in the blue letter Bible. And it goes into Strom's, Strom's H1348. Ka'awatha. And it and it says an outline of biblical usage. It says, it says a rising up. It says a column of smoke. It says um Majesty of the Most High. Let me see what it says in the room. It says in the um the outline of biblical usage, it says to rise up, grow up, be exalted in triumph. The blue letter ain't pretty much going. You, know, you got the etymology. Yeah, I got the etymology. Yeah. You know, they're just saying majesty. You know, that's what we're trying to define. So this majesty in the Old Etymology Dictionary, it said greatness or grandeur or exalted rank or character. Mm -hmm. uh, qualities of Qualities appropriate to rulership. Ooh, woo! Yep. That's it. <laughs> Re read that part again. Now, you can just read that part. That's the part. It said qualities. It said qualities appropriate to rulership. Qualities appropriate to rulership. That's what majesty means. Yep. Esau don't possess that. Right. Yep. And then it, it also say nobility, dignity, greatness. He doesn't have that. Yep. He doesn't have that, right? So that's the point I wanted on that. You can grab that Psalms 50 and 16. All right, this is Psalms 50 and verse 16. It says, but until the wicked, the most I said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction. Seeing thou hatest instructions, right? You hate the qualities appropriate to rulership. You hate the majesty of the Lord. Yeah, because it said that uh, the, the, uh, if, you, if you desire being kings and thrones. Desire, yeah, 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 let's get it. Desire. Let's get it. Yeah, you want to finish that? Right? Yep, it says, seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee. Yep. See, he don't behold. Behold means to keep, right? Uh, You know, to take hold of. He, he 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 don't he don't take hold of the instructions of the Lord. Right. He uh, damn we say about man and woman. Right. Woman and got to be with a man. Damn what he say about uh every seed bearing fruit in itself. Right. You know. Damn what he said about his chosen people. But Esau looks at himself as as if he's God. Exactly. He yeah, thinks of his himself as if he's as if he's an authority in the earth, man. Yeah. And really, really, he's a nobody. Yeah. You, you, you're, you're, uh, you're in the position you're in because the Lord put you there. Yeah. You know, but hey, that's why scripture say a fool has said in his heart, there is no, there is no power, man. It shows you this, this is a foolish man we're dealing with, man. But you got it out. This is wisdom of Solomon sits in um, 19. And in corruption, we start on uh, 17. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. That's what he said, you lack discipline. And the care of discipline is love. You know, love is the most ancient love. 18, and love is to keep up her laws. And the giving heed unto her laws 
it's the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption make us nail to the most high. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. Right. If your delight be then in thrones and scriptures, or your kings of the people, under wisdom, which is part of the word wisdom, righteous uh, judgment. Yeah, judge and right. Yeah, so oh your kings of the people, under wisdom, that you may reign forevermore. And that's exactly why he's not. That's exactly why he everything that he's touching is destroyed, because he does it under wisdom. Read the wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9 real quick. Uh, read through uh Matter of fact, we just jump to the point, uh, which is like 10 or 11. But, uh, but the ungodly shall Yeah, 10, 10, yep. This is wisdom of Solomon 3 and 10. It says, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. See, which have neglected the righteous forsaken. and forsaken the Lord. It said they shall be punished according to their own imaginations. Yep. And the most wicked thing that Esau Edom has imagined is how uh, he can eliminate the God gene and take souls into himself and claim them as his own. And he's come up with this MOTB, right? The McChip Imp. And that's ultimately his grand, uh, his grand scheme, yep. you know? To be like the most high. Yeah. You gonna say yeah, something? I'm thinking about this movie, um, Infinite. Right. I forgot the, the, um, the dude. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah, Mark Wahlberg and the black dude. Yeah. He's playing the role of an Edomite. Yeah. And pretty much that's, in, in, that, in that movie, pretty much the, um, the dude really trying to stop reincarnation. Uh-huh. That's really what Esau trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. Okay, he was like, if I use this gun and put their soul, their conscience on the you know, on a chip, that's yeah. what he said in the movie. Yeah. I could just do away with it. And have it. artificial intelligence. Yeah. That's why he, he wants to uh manipulate the genes and dictate uh like babies' births and what attributes they're born with. Right. He's trying to merge man and machine. He's trying to eliminate nature itself and create his own uh artificial intelligence. Right? When you go into uh artificial intelligence. Let's, let's jump there real quick. Now, remember where we was at. Did we finish the scripture that we was just on, or do we need to finish it? Nah, just a little more. Okay, finish that, and uh, y'all can know, and y'all brothers load up artificial and intelligence in the etymology. This is wisdom of Solomon 3 and 11. It says, for whoso despises wisdom and nurture. And when Esau, Edom said, what good does this birthright do me in Genesis, right? What he was saying was, uh, what good shall wisdom do me? Because, again, he has the fatness of the earth, but the wisdom, the qualities appropriate for rulership, he does not possess right. because he despised it, right? He despised it, you know? Damn the discipline it takes to rule the earth. I just want the power over the earth to rule it, and I rule it however I see fit. Right, yeah. That's, that's, that's wickedness, right. you know? For you not to take uh, in account a higher power that gave you the authority. That's like you disrespecting, like if you're a prince, you disrespecting everything that your father, the king, built. And saying, well, hell, when I get it, damn how he used to run shit. Right, I'm yeah. running it my way. And that's how that's how kingdoms fall. Yep. Yep. It says, um, and nurture. He start back, from, start back from, from, from the top. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 11. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. And you better believe the elites are fucking, they are miserable, man. Yeah. They got all that money, because they're saying in the world, more money, more power. Uh, more money, more problems. problems. Yeah. You know, more money, more problems. That's uh, a reflection of Esau Edom and his uh, mental state. Yep. You know, because he's reaping all of the resources out of the earth, but he's not sowing any anything back into it, you know, and that's what you call mercy and favor when you when you, you don't obtain and take everything from the earth, a earth that you didn't build, a earth that you didn't, you know what I'm saying, 
and then you hoard it all for yourself and you continually destroy people instead of helping people. Uh -huh. You got 230,000 people over there in Sudan, women and children, at the brink of starving to death. Right? You got wars and people uh, uh, being wiped out all over the earth because this man refuses uh, to uphold the majesty of the Lord. Yep. Boy, I, I... Go ahead, up. Now this uh, Proverbs 29 and 14, the king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne shall be established forever. See there? Yeah. Read it again. The king that faithfully judges the poor, his throne should be established forever. So what did King Solomon, what did he, he, he wish for? Like what did he, he ask for? Wisdom, right? And ultimately that was Yahweh Shai in the spirit we know if you can receive it. And that kingdom is, is going to uh, come back as the everlasting kingdom on earth, okay? Before King Solomon uh, went off, all right, start dealing with the because that's really where he went. That's where why the kingdom fell. King Solomon started dealing with the women of those other nations and uh, you know dealing with their their those women and their gods, and that's how we fell. But the Lord is going to program us. The Lord is going to program us right to honor wisdom, uh, 24/7, 365, right. non-stop. Our mind is going to continually uh, produce uh, thoughts of righteousness and wisdom, and and and, and execute uh, wisdom and righteousness in the earth. Yep. You got it, bro. Yep. It says, it says their their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. That was it. Yeah. So this is this is the end of Esau Edom. He's the he's the true ungodly. Uh, creature in the earth, all right, the ungodly man in the earth. So, we're gonna deal with uh, his system that he's trying to uh, pretty much uh, implement into the earth as the new uh, way of life, right? The, 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 the new uh, wisdom, artificial intelligence. So, you got the word artificial, yeah, artificial. and you're gonna get the word intelligence. Okay, come. This is the word artificial in an online etymology and it goes into late 14th century. It says not natural. It says the meaning made by man contrived by human skill and labor. It says it's from early 15th century. The word was applied from 16th century to anything made in imitation of or, or as a substitute for what is natural, whether real, light tears or not teeth flowers it says yep. uh you know not genuine not genuine yep yep so that's artificial and that's what he saw wants he he he, he doesn't want to do things the natural way right that yahweh shim yahweh shai set up things to operate in the, uh the way that yahweh shim yahweh shai naturally set things to uh up to be operated in the earth. The natural use of how things are supposed to work in the earth. He uh, willfully deviates from that. You got the word uh, intelligence. Yeah. So intelligence from the online etymology initiative, the highest faculty of the mind, capacity of comprehending general truth. So we think in capacity for comprehending Truth. So that's what Esau, that's what's been hid from Esau. Yeah. That's what's been hid from Esau, the capacity to comprehend general truth. The scriptures say that uh, if this man do, uh, do right, Still let's get it. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, ain't trying to. he ain't trying to do it. He did that shit on accident. Yeah. You know? Yeah, hey, Esau told me he's going to Friday. He said the golden rule is fuck, fuck others, other, fuck, fuck over other people for that fuck you over. Right. Like, that's, 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 that's See, but the golden rule is uh, put others before you. You know, the golden rule is uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah, but here's the opposite. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Uh -huh. You know, his is the opposite. Fuck so fuck. there you go. <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't uh, possess that. Uh, he doesn't possess 
uh, what you just read, the capacity for comprehending general, general truth. Yeah, yeah. Also, like artificial, you know. Yeah. Pretty much what insecure, you fake, you know, you're not authentic. Yeah. You know, you dream low. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I can start at six on there. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. Start at five. This Sirach 14 and 5, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? And he should not take pleasure in his goods. Right, because he don't love himself. You know? He don't love his own his own people running around here suffering, you know, and parvished. You know, it's like damn, you gonna treat your own kids like that? Right. And, and this his kingdom and you got you got you know, like, big and you know, holding up signs, fucked up. Home A lot of your own nation. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, past past uh, some of your own people, man. Yeah. That ain't supposed you think ain't no fucking way an uh, Edomite gonna be coming up on a level in, in our kingdom. kingdom. With the, <laughs> you know? Two thirds. Yeah. Okay, they gonna shoot way past all the all other the nations. nations. That's that. Yeah. Well, I got another scripture too. It's about the great girl fix. Yeah, yeah you this got one? it. Yeah. Hey, because I just wanted to add to what Yakanon was saying too, because uh not only that, nobody's gonna starve. Like, no nation is going to, everybody's going to eat. Yeah. Like, how do you figure that you can have people out here starving and it's uh, oceans and rivers and streams and lakes full of fish? It's trees that reproduce themselves with fruit, yeah. you know? It's rain, it rain, water, rain. rain, you know? Like, like, food is something that is in the earth unlimited. You know, water, it's unlimited. But you take it and you uh you put a price on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With a different name. And right? then fuck it up. You put it in, you put it in uh plastic. plastic. <laughs> put it in plastic, you take the nutrients out of everything, the fruits. Yeah. It Spring is. chemtrails in the fucking air. So if you wanted to collect the rainwater and drink it, you drinking fucking poison. If I may add, you know, because just going back to, uh, you know, basically like the welfare system, like, uh, you know, that we got in the law yeah. about how you're not supposed to, you know, cut the corners of your field. Yeah. But he saw nowadays, like, he'd go in there and he'd cut all the corn out of the field. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Reap and drop. Yeah. This Sirach 14 and 6, there is none worse than he that envied himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he do of good, and at the last, he would declare his wickedness. Yeah. So if he do it good, he do it unwillingly. You know? So yeah, he, uh, he's showing us the artifacts. Uh, now they're coming out with the Russian icons, you know? But you best believe it's, it's to his benefit more than it is for us. So he thinks. I'm going to put it that way. So he thinks. Because like the Lord say, all things are two and two. So what he thinks he's doing to ultimately get an advantage over us, he's actually uh, digging himself further into a pit. That's why, uh, uh, what's that, 2 Corinthians 11, he said at least Satan shall get an advantage of us if we're not ignorant of his devices. Yeah. And that's one reason why he has uh, been able to reach the heights of power that he has made it uh, to in this earth 
is through uh, his deceitful plans, yeah. right? He's had an advantage for so long with ruling by deceit. But now we're in the time with a prophecy of, uh, let's get Isaiah 25. Let's get Isaiah 25 and uh, 7, right? You got something? I got something. Go ahead. This is Psalm 64 and 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. Yeah. They say they would search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Yeah. They got the artifacts. Yeah. They know where on the Noah's Ark there. They dig for the artifacts, the weapons. Yeah. So, hey, of course, you know, they became wise. Hey, not inviting us, man. But it say they search out what? Iniquities. Yeah. So they're not searching it out for righteousness sake. Mm -hmm. they're, searching, they're searching it out so won't nobody else find yeah. it and come to the knowledge of the truth. Hey, you remember <laughs> it was an old skit they had with Richard Pryor. Uh, back in the day, he went in them caves. Oh, and yeah. found, he was, oh shit, we don't people, man. The Lord is <laughs> done with us. Oh. Hey, man, you know, oh, man, I got to tell everybody. The damn yeah. motherfucker just scared. Yeah, slid out the back, slid out the door, and, and, and locked his ass like, in there. God damn. <laughs> Can't let this out. Yeah. Just close the nigga in there. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. But ain't no hiding the truth. Right. This Lord said you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. So everything that he's uh, accomplished uh, and everything that he's discovered, the Lord, it said there's nothing uh, hid that should not come abroad. There's no secret thing that should not be made known or made manifest. You know? So all you're doing is really doing the work <laughs> to uh, further the will of the Heavenly Father sealing his elect. That's what you're doing. Yeah, searching out the um the moon, the uh, deeps of the wall. Yeah, you know, and all that. It, yeah, it's, it's tempting the Lord, and for one, to cut off the nation of Israel. That's man. it. That's the it. The heavens above can be searched out. That's it. Got the space for us and all that. Yeah, he's just doing it for iniquities. Like tomorrow, the nigga trying to shoot uh, rockets, rockets, rockets at, 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 the, at the at the moon. Yeah, right. opening up sun. You know, <laughs> he tried his best to get rid of uh the glory. And the Like, you know how, you know how proud that motherfucker would be if they would be like, you know, he'd be like, damn, I am God. Right. I mean, he already think like that, right. but if he's able to accomplish something of that magnitude, he'd be like, ah. Got it, bro. This Isaiah 25, verse 7. And he would destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Right. So all the things that Esau Edom has hid concerning our heritage, especially Israel, right? He's covered up. The Lord is destroying it. How is he destroying it? Through truth, through his spirit. When you go to second edges, uh Six. uh 16 if you had something in six you could grab that i wanted 16 and uh 16 and 62 might start at 60. brother grab that real quick yeah y'all you got yours oh, yeah yeah this just quick this second answer 6 27 it says for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared so we in that time now we in the time where the fruit of truth is being declared right we're in the time where the covering cast that Esau saw him and, and the veil of deception that he has uh, uh stressed throughout all the earth is being pulled back it's being destroyed right. through what through truth right through the spirit of truth by his own people in, uh, in Psalm 64 and 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah go ahead. It, it says Psalm 64 and 8, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that all that see them shall flee away. Yeah. 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 They show you that Esau, you should say something. Go ahead, go ahead. So so uh show you that Esau Edom, you know, he, everything, he don't know everything, right? He, he it's, it's the wisdom of how the spirit operates. 
is what he lacks. Now, he, 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 he has not accounted for the spirit, right. which is the most powerful thing. Yep. Like the spirit going to search out everything. You're a carnal man. And That's why you can't man. understand. That's because <laughs> when you really get down to it, it's like, damn, this man really think he going to be able to pull this off? He don't got the over spirit. The, yeah, over the, over the hell the father. Everything that he's allowed you to do yeah, to show yeah. you his power. Right. He gave you the he gave you the knowledge to be able to create airplanes and space shuttles to go up into the heavens. <laughs> and then when you get up there, you see, damn, it's even more out here than it is down here. Right. Curse the gods. <laughs> I should still see. I, I'm gonna go further. That's the perfect place to start the water, huh? Yep. This second edge is 16 and 61. He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body. He made you, nigga. He gave you your mind. Yeah, he your created mind. you all your concepts. You know? I never made you, boy. But what he hear from you is the fact that he did it. Like, like right. even, even when Esau starts to feel like, yeah, there is a God. His pride won't let him accept that this just it. It's a place. I'm just a higher power than you. Right. You know, you're not the, you're not him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. It gave him breath, life, and understanding. Yea, in the spirit of the Almighty Yahweh, which made all things and searched out. He saw him as that nigga that tries to overstand. You know, like. The only one that can overstand is the most high. Right. Like understand means stand under, stand down. Nigga, you gotta stand down when it comes to the majesty and the glory and the power of the most high. But he tries to overstand. He tries to supersede. Yeah, like the nigga created, like the funny I use the word supersede, the nigga came up with the theory of supersessionism. Right, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The Lord said Israel is only has he known out of all the nations. He said Israel is his chosen people. This nigga said, no, nah, we all God's chosen people. Right. We all his children. He'll supersede the most high. Right. And the theory is called supersessionism. Yeah. That's that's crazy, man. It's a nigga. Like a brother said, he's the true nigga in the earth. Yeah, in search of out all hidden things and the secrets of the earth. Second Ezra 16 and 63, surely he know of your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, hmm. even them that sin. Yeah, of course he know your inventions, because he made you, nigga. Right. <laughs> like we all highly sophisticated robots, man. Yep. But the greatest thing about being a highly so sophisticated robot is when the Lord gives you the spirit to understand. When he sanctified you and, and made you sacred enough to operate with righteous judgment to know that look i made you and i made you to live a certain way not to destroy you before you're good because you don't know like you don't, you don't you don't know how deep the rabbit hole go the, the most high he, he he made the rabbit hole you know what i'm saying so how you think you're gonna go down the rabbit hole without him come on man in search of out all hidden things and the secrets of the earth, surely he know of your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and will hide their sin. Mm -hmm. Therefore have the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all to shame. And this is the time. This is that time where Esau Edom, he's about to be put to shame. He's been he's been put to shame every day as this truth goes forth. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says, uh, John 6 and 63, he said, uh, sanctify them through thy word. Uh, thy word is truth, which I'm roughly quoting. So this, this word. Uh, John 17. Uh, no, 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 I'm thinking about uh, John 6 and 63. But yeah, John 17 says, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. But uh, John 6 and 63 says, uh, the spirit of the The flesh brought to nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life, right? Which Esau Edom, uh, he 
doesn't have the spirit. That's why death is constantly, uh, the kingdom of death is, is reigning upon earth right now. Because he don't got the spirit of truth. And uh, like Obadiah say, how the things of Esau Edom searched out. How is hidden things sought up? Because if it wasn't for the spirit, the, the, the kingdom of death would remain forever. Because Esau would, would never allow truth to come to the light. But it's not up to him whether or not truth comes to the light. Yeah. That's the spirit of the Most High that uh, has dominion over them. You got something? Yeah. Okay, come. It's John 6 and 63 in the NLT. The spirit alone gives eternal life. Human effort accomplishes nothing. And the very words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. The very words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. So he despises the words. So he despises the spirit of the Most High and he despises life. You know? Oh, y'all got some? Yeah, yeah, got that, uh, first Corinthians. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll end on that. Okay. Uh, I had another precept there oh, just on my mind. Go ahead, uh. This is uh this is Psalms chapter uh 10 and start at verse 4. It says the wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the most high. Woo. It says, um, Yabashim Yabashad is not in all his thoughts. Mm -hmm. He did it in NLT. You got it. It says in uh, Psalms chapter uh, 10 and verse 4 in the NLT, the wicked are too proud to seek Yabashim Yabashad. Mm -hmm. They seem to think that the Most High is dead. Hey, this is sweet. Let's speak on it. I mean, pretty, if I may add pretty much, man, they're just dealing with Esau, man. God is not in all his thoughts. See, he's trying to move by human initiative. You see? But hey, going back to John 6 and 63, it's really the spirit, man, that you don't obtain. You yep. see, you're a profound individual. Profane. Profane. Right. Yeah, which profane. means outside the temple. Yeah, you know? nigga, no credit. Right. It's a lot. Yep. And profane. matter of fact, since you spoke on uh, outside the temple, let's get uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and start at 3. What's it done with that? I got it for him. This is Job 21 14. Therefore they say unto the Most High, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. Hey, the Spirit searching you out, man. The Spirit is exposing you. That's you. Read that again. That's a cold cut. This is Job 21 and 14. Therefore they say unto the Most High, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty? And that we should serve him. And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? They desire not the knowledge of the Most High. Uh -huh. So they don't desire righteousness. They don't desire, they have no desire to do what's right, man. Yeah, what's the point of praying to him? What's the point of serving him? Yeah. What that uh, fucking clown, uh, Class uh, yeah. him too, Yuval, Yuval, yeah, Yuval yeah, yeah, Harari, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? We, uh, we don't need a God. Uh, you can make God as mad as you want. We got our own water. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we, we, we gonna be the first yeah. generation uh, to live forever. Pride. Yeah, that's pride. That's pride, man. And Lord can, can he can dissolve a nigga like this, man. Like he did. Uh, what, what, which, which one of those was that? Uh, that was, I believe that was uh, 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 Alexander. Got all them fucking wines and shit in his body. Just ate his ass up, inside out. Fucks him up, man. You know, the Lord can the Lord can break your ass down, man. You know? Proud ass Edomites. Cause you don't control life, man. That's that, that hey, that's in uh Ecclesiastes. Right there, I guess. Yeah, no man have a uh, spirit no, uh, power over the spirit. No, no, Ecclesiastes no, no. eight and eight. Hey, no, yeah, yeah, you don't control the spirit. You just, you, you know, you just a uh, 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 host in this body, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, I got it. Second Thessalonians. That's it. No, two, start at three. Uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two, start at three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. We in that time, right? We know that the so-called self-proclaimed white man beginning with the globalists, the elites, the banking families. We understand that they are the wicked. 
we understand that he's the man of sin, the son of perdition. Perdition goes into what? Destruction. And everything that he does in the earth, it leads to death and destruction. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians but 2. But a lot four. of our people to this day are still deceived. They, 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 they don't know. Why? Because they don't possess the spirit. Right. See, the spirit is a, is a privileged thing, man. It's only privy to the Lord's elect. And that's who all we're concerned about at the end of the day. You know, this video was ultimately done to address the brother's comment and further ex expound upon what Apostle Aramla was saying. Like, when it comes to being uh, wise concerning righteousness, like, Esau don't got it. So, and ultimately, Esau truly don't got wisdom. Like, he got favor from the Most High to have the knowledge to uh, come up with these great big uh, machines that can dig deep down in the earth to create submarines that can go deep down in the water, the knowledge to uh, create these planes and ships to go up in the heavens. But when he obtains that knowledge, what the fuck does he do with it? Lie like he fucking walked on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't walked on no fucking moon, you know? He ain't walk on light. Come on, man. Yeah, right. Come on, bro. And with all the technology that you have advanced in with camera phones and these, your, your telescopes are more powerful now, why the fuck is, you should have had a whole movie, we should have had a whole movie live from the moon. <laughs> live from the motherfucking moon. You know? Hey, <laughs> I, if I can say this too. Hey, a lot of, a lot of the knowledge you get, he's called up from Jacob. Exactly. Most of them were most of all of them. Exactly. You didn't even, you ain't even, you weren't even smart enough to come up with it on your own. You, right. You did what you do best. You, you, you robbed, you stole. You know? The inventions uh, was mostly Jake's inventions. Come on, bro. You stole it. You stole it. Yeah. You lied, I, I cheat. I steal. <laughs> it's like, uh, that's the ending of uh, yeah, real Yeah, experience. that's real though, bro. Don't take that nigga Come on, man. <laughs> hey, because uh, it say like Jacob is the form of all things. Uh, yeah. So even the knowledge that you do have, nine times out of 10, stole it. you got it from Jake. You know, Jake, Jake gave you the idea uh, for most of the inventions that makes your fucking society function. Yep. Example, Uncle Nevis, the whiskey. Girl. Right. And whiskey yeah. goes, go, uh, entomology goes into water life, but. Cold. Cold whiskey, but he took that. Yep. Yeah. Now he got the off brand Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. All right. And all you this know? time, up until a few years ago, everybody was thinking that Jack Daniel uh, was the best whiskey maker. You know, never knew that his slave gave him the recipe. Right. You Uncle know, Nevis. and he stole it. Stole it. There you have the, it. The aunt tastes better, man. Yeah, it tastes yeah. better, man. Yeah, Jake yeah, always yeah, got the, 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 the best, man. Yeah, Jake When you got go the to best. the original source, you're like, man, this better. Yeah. Jordan over Kobe. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't trying to, you know, try to debate, but it's just, you know, the original. Yeah. You want the original, man. The original. Which, uh, that's why I say, uh, <laughs> Jacob is the form of all things. Right. You know? Second Thessalonians chapter two verse four, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. See, he opposes and, and he opposes and what? He said he opposes and, and exalt himself above all that is called God. Right. You know, so everything that the Most High has set up. Let's we talk about all the foundations of the earth, the outer course. Everything that the Most High has set up is, 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 is sources of power. He fucks with it. You know, you want to fuck with the sunlight, you want to fuck with the water, you want to fuck with the trees, you want to fuck with everything, the air quality. Yep. Go ahead, bro. So that he asked as the most high, sit up in the temple. Not as the most high. Right. Go right there, you want to say he has power. Because right. he's he's the superpower in the earth. Right? He's the power in the earth right now. So he has power. So he has power sit up in the temple of powers. Right, because he see, he's in the power seat and he's sitting in the temple of the Most High, right? The temple of the Most High is us, the Lord's uh, chosen people. We're the temple. So not only is he sitting in the position of the chosen people, which is a, uh, uh, we, the world was made for our sakes. The world was made for Jake, right. but he's sitting in that position, right. right? Not only is he sitting in that position, he's 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 uh took the identity and said that he's the people, you know. 
He said he's the temple. We, uh, uh, Esau said, well, uh, we're the chosen people. You know, the small hats, the little cappers. Go ahead, bro. Showing himself that he is power. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Right. So this is the time of him being revealed. But back then, you know, it was a mystery. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 2 and 7, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Right. The mystery of iniquity doth already work. So the mystery of the man of sin, the man who uh, adds sin upon sin, right? It was already at work. His, his workings was already, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it was, he was doing his work. The work he was doing in that time was for him to be revealed in this time. God wrote. Only he who would let him would let until he be taken out of the way. And that's ultimately who? The Most High. Because the Most High allowed you to reach this height that you reached. The Most High allowed you to be in this position. You didn't get in this position on your own. Go ahead, bro. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. What's the spirit of the Lord's mouth? Right. Not who? What's the spirit of the Lord's mouth? Right. Not what? Oh. Uh, Not who? What? The, the spirit of the Lord, who is the prophet? Yeah. But what's coming out of the prophet's mouth? Prophecy. Word. Word. Truth. Truth. Yeah, truth. Yeah. The spirit of the Lord's the spirit of the Lord's mouth is truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the line ain't coming out of the Lord's mouth. Right. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So speaking the truth is what's revealing this man. I had a precept uh to bag that. Uh uh John uh four, the spirit of truth. Must worship him in spirit and truth. Uh uh, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. Y'all can get one of those. But the prophets, uh, the prophets are the mouthpiece of the Lord. And the spirit of what's coming out of the, uh, of the, of the, of the mouthpiece of the Lord is the spirit of truth. Yeah, just type in spirit of truth. If you type in spirit of truth, you're probably going to get it. 12 precepts going to pop up. Just type in spirit of truth. This John 4 and 24. Yahweh by Shema is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and uh, verse 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shema of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will put my words in thy mouth. Fire. I mean, so like I will make my words in in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it should devour them. Yep. yep. So what it say? Consuming. Uh, the spirit of the Lord is a consuming fire, yep. right? So truth sets the world on fire, man. Yeah, like you brought up on John seventeen and seventeen. Yep. Sanctify them through that truth. That word. Should be true. That word is truth. Yep. Yes. Yep, hey, the water, the water, uh, Kazak Bunya Howder, hey, y'all was some of shot, rock a thumb to y'all, you on the coming, boy, Shalom, Shalom, Lord, will you be edified? Brother, got another one? Yeah, it's another John 14. Uh, John 16, yeah, verse 9, 2 and 21. Uh, John, I think John, even the spirit of the comforter, even the spirit of truth. Yeah, go ahead, get what you got, Salah. All right, this is, uh, this is, uh, first John yeah. 2 and 21. Not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lies are the truth. No lies are the truth, man. You know, in Esau Edom, that's the craftiness of Esau Edom. Is even going back to the serpent, he knows the truth, so he uses the truth to his advantage to further his agenda uh, in the earth. So he tells lies more convincingly knowing the truth. When you know the truth, you're able to tell more convincing lies. Right. Yeah, to tell a lie, you gotta know the to truth. Tell, to, yeah, to tell, to tell a convincing lie. The niggas you tell lies all day long. Right. But you and, know they lie. Yeah, you know they lie. Ain't nobody fought for that shit, That nigga. story in the moon, if we hadn't read the scriptures to know, like, wait a minute, how in the hell you land on a light? Get the fuck out of here. 
out here. Now that that yeah. that that kill that lie. Yeah. But to a nigga who don't know now, yeah. it's it uh, you know you can yeah. convince. Him. Yeah, cause Esau tell you that the uh, moon gets its light from the sun. That's a goddamn lie. Genesis is the first chapter. <laughs> One light to rule today, you know. Hey. Hey, they say the truth to set you free as well, man. Yeah. Cause if the moon, so, so tomorrow it's a new moon and it's a solar eclipse, right? Right. So if the fucking, if the fucking moon <laughs> gets its light right. from the sun, how the fuck a light in front of a light create darkness? Right. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Damn, me. So how, how, how? You know? Because like the the the, uh, the moon increases and decreases in light, man. Yep. That's, that's a good point, huh? Jake, man. Me, me, write that down. <laughs> This John 16 and 13, albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he show you things to come. Mm. And, and I want to, <laughs> that's a good point. Light. You should be more light. It should be more light. That's just like fucking hell. Yup. <laughs> How you gonna put fire? fire with fire. With fire. So Esau, he, Everything he says is a fucking lie, man. Yup. Yep. He can't. He can't it's listen the to it, man. Damn. Say he go. He go a fourth out of the womb speaking lies as soon as he be born. Okay. Yup. Want that second Corinthians? And the first Corinthians? Oh, uh, uh, give me that John. That. Give me John. Uh, even the spirit of truth, and then we can go there. We can go there. Okay, this is uh this is John chapter fourteen, and um. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth. How you going? Yeah, you got a verse 16. 16. So start, okay. 16. Start 16, Bible shout out. This is um this is John chapter 14 and verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he and it says, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. See, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Only the world of the Lord's elect. Right, the uh, the cosmos. That's who receiving that comfort. That's who's receiving the spirit of truth, you know. And that's the spirit that will not allow us to be deceived. That uh, Apostle Paul was writing about, as he was really uh, uh, speaking as the mouthpiece of Yahweh Shimon Hawashah. You know, you got it though. Al. You got some. Yeah, you can go ahead. Finish up. This is John chapter 14 and verse 17. It says, Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. That's it. That's it. The true, the true wisdom is within the Lord's elect. You know? He saw that he not wiser than the Lord's elect. Yeah. You know? I know I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. You know? Yup. Alright, you got it, y'all. Alright. This is uh first Corinthians 3 and 18. It says, Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool. Yup, I got a quick precept. It says uh first Corinthians, jumping back to first Corinthians 2 and 6. How be it? We speak among them that are perfect. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world. Wait, yeah, this is how you get your credit score up to 800. You gotta do, get the credit card, capital one. Nah, fuck all that, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't care about the wisdom of this world, man. Yep. You gotta get your master's, your bachelor's degrees. All that is nonsense with the most out, man. Yep. Yeah. It says, whom the princes of this, uh, nor the princes of this world, that come to not. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory. You see? So, he saw, yeah, he know the hidden knowledge of the things in the earth, but it was not for his glory. The Lord gave him that knowledge to destroy his fucking self. That's cold. Lord, cold. He cold. cold. And they say we speak the wisdom and the mystery. 
Yep. So, Mr. You had it. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I won't <laughs> let me get dead, like, I won't tell. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Jeez. Mysterion. Mysterion. This is mystery. The I lie biblical usage. C. 1A. Start at 1A. Start at 1A. 1A. Hidden things, secret mystery, generally mysteries, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. Yeah, Esau, all these other nations, they're ordinary mortals. The elect comes out of the seed of Jacob, man. Yeah. You know? Keep going. A hidden or secret thing not obvious to the understanding. Hey, and that's why I said if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You know, and also with the Matthew um, 11, right? <laughs> the Matthew 11, um, because it is given to you, you know, the, the mysteries to the kingdom of heaven. Yep. On to the other, it is not given. It's not given. So we speak, keep going. It said a hidden purpose or counsel, secret will of man of the Most High, the secret counsels which govern the Most High in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. Yeah. Hey, this is from, uh, it's a couple of precepts, man, the brother Kazak, Kazak Banya Howder, Kazak Banya Howder, he put some fire, he put some fire, he put some fire on there. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, from the brother, Psalms 33, 4 and 5, for the word of the Lord, Yahweh is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment that's what wisdom is righteous judgment the earth is full of the goodness of the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shai but esau is not profiting from the goodness of the lord right. you see what i'm saying it was the goodness of the lord in the earth was not for esau Edom to profit it was for him to trample it over foot to, to despise it and and, and and the lord gonna destroy his ass for handling this in such a manner Right? It's ultimately, like I said, for him to destroy himself by. He got that wisdom of, uh, that just made me think of, uh, that, that movie Oppenheimer. Yeah, he made, uh -huh. yeah, he made, he made that, the atomic bomb. Yeah, that too, that, you know. Yeah. The Lord had to, had to yeah, bring he, that devil. Because he had to put them elements together in order to make a, 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 a weapon of mass destruction. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who who makes weapons of, who takes the, uh, the resources in the earth? And makes weapons of mass destruction. A goddamn fool. That's who. Mad science. A goddamn That's fool. A goddamn man. devil. Kazak Bon Yahweh again. Proverbs 25 and 2. It is the glory of the Most High to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. You know? Yeah. Satan might be a little mad. You think? <laughs> <laughs> One more. Uh, uh, that's it. That's it. That the water, brother. The water. That's some fire right there. Uh, yup. Okay. Uh, go back to this. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna I'm hand it over to you to finish it out. This is uh picking back up at First Corinthians two and seven again. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. See? They didn't know the things pertaining to, none of the princes of the world knew the things pertaining to the spirit of truth. Right? The Holy Spirit. It says, uh, <laughs> for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So that's twofold. Yeah. Because the ones that really crucified the Lord, right? Which which was the Jews, right? Our own people. His own people was the one who brought him before the uh the, the Romans to be crucified. And the Romans, had they known, they would have they would have not uh executed him on the behalf. If, if they really knew the power of who they was executing, yeah. right. you know. But it's, it's, it's the power of the most high to conceal a thing. See, he hid that from them. But even in the midst of Yahweh Shah being crucified, the elect was right there and the elect knew who he was. The elect knew like, damn, y'all fucking up. But 
the Lord hid it from the Romans and from the uh, wicked uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, you know? It is given to you to know the mysteries to the kingdom of heaven. But unto them it is not given. One more. But it is written, uh, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of men the things which the Most High has prepared for them that love him. But the Most High has revealed it unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches out all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. So the Most High put the spirit on Esau Edom to go and dig into the earth and search out these things and pull up these artifacts. Also, it can be spilled out to the elect. Also, the elect can have that knowledge and get the glory of those things being discovered. Yeah, now the possibility talking about the Russian icons before they been, been, been yeah, talking about it. We've been knowing that for, you know, <laughs> since we came into the truth, you know. It says, uh, for what man, you got it after this, for what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man, which is in him. Even so, the things of the Most High knoweth no man, but the spirit of the Most High, right? So only the elect are of the spirit of the Most High, you know? The spirit bear witness. Yep. Go ahead, y'all take All us right. and take us out. Back in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, and 18 again it says, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the most high. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own crafty. Right, so you see Esau Edom is that crafty one whom the Lord really is just making a fool out of. You know, he's allowing him to reach these great heights and obtain these great uh, discoveries and levels of knowledge to make a fool out of him. Because remember, in the kingdom, we're going to say, is this the man? Is this the man that, uh, what did it say, that made, uh, that, the, that made the nations to tremble and yeah, shake kingdoms? Shake kingdoms? Is, this, is this the nigga? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> this, the, this the nigga? Go ahead, I'll. of the wise of this world, his thoughts are vain. You know, because it's not going to profit him. Uh, all, the, all the knowledge that Esau Edom is obtaining, you know, uh, all the, 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 like, the, the things that he searched out, the diligent search he's comes, it's, it's not going to profit him. Yeah. Right. Hey, we, we brought that out. Uh, he that despises wisdom is miserable. Yeah. We all brought yep, that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, wisdom can write your judgment, yep, man. Yep, <laughs> yep, So, Lord will, you were edified again. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory, right? To Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, right? Double honors again to the Apostles of Great Millstone, the Minotaurs, this truth, peace and salutation to the whole for the leg. Quorum Yasharala, Ababa Ball, rise Israel, destroy confusion, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.